She wasn't much to look at in a regular sense, about as plain as a church house fence. But seemed like wherever she'd go, she left folks tingling with an inner glow. She was Sister Sarah up in Timberland, just like the wife of old Abraham of Bible days, little Isaac Small, but some of the men didn't like her at all. The old timer said they'd never heard of a woman going around preaching a word, but Sister Sarah didn't say a thing. She went on preaching and she liked to sing. Not my will, but thine be done. Lead me in the footsteps of thy son. Let me know what you want me to do. And I will follow, follow you. They decided to put Sister Sarah to trial. Preachers rode in for many a mile to ask her questions, but they found she knew the King James Version through and through. Then they asked her to preach, all set to scorn, and from early evening to early morn, they wanted to stop her, but they couldn't try, cause none of them's eyes was very dry. And when she picked up her guitar she'd brought along, every heart wept as she sang her song. Not my will, but thine be done. Lead me in the footsteps of thy son. Let me know what you want me to do. And I will follow, follow you. Sister Sarah preached on heaven and hell with a voice clear as a church house bell. Strong and warm as an old friend, she made living right seem better than sin. An old man stopped her outside the door, said, Sister, I feel we've met before. You might have knowed my daddy way back, she said. His name was the Reverend Black. And he had to walk that lonesome valley. And I've got to walk that valley too. Let me know what you want me to do. And I will follow, follow. I will, but thine be done. Lead me in the footsteps of thy son. Let me know what you want me to do, and I will follow, follow. Passed an ordinance in the town They said we'd have to tear it down That little old shack out back So dear to me <laughs> Though the health department said Its day was over and dead It will stand forever in my memory Don't let them tear That little brown building down Don't let them tear That precious building down Don't let them tear little brown building down for there's not another like it in the country or the town it was not so long ago that i went tripping through the snow out to that house behind my old hound dog where i'd sit me down to rest like a snowbird on his nest <laughs> and read the sears and roebuck catalog <laughs> I would hum a happy tune peeping through the quarter moon as my daddy's kin had done before it was in that quiet spot daily cares could be forgot it gave the same relief to rich and poor don't let them tear that little brown building down don't let them tear that precious building down don't let them tear that dear old building country or the town now it was not a castle fair but i could dream a future there and build my castles to the yellow jackets drone 
I could orbit around the sun, fight with General Washington, or be a king upon a golden throne. Uh, he's seen one of them, I know. It wasn't fancy built at all, we had newspapers on the wall. It was air conditioned in the winter time. It was just a humble hut, but its door was never shut, and a man could get inside without a dime. Don't let him tear that little brown building down. Don't let him tear that precious building down. Don't let him tear that dear old building down, for there's not another like it in the country. 